so its valency factor is actually two. But in this particular reaction, only one sodium is replaced by H. So in this reaction, its n factor is one. N factor or valency factor is one. That's why I write here equivalence of sodium carbonate with valency factor one. Right? Then come to next stage. Methyl orange shows color change when whole sodium hydrogen carbonate give NaCl and H2 CO3 because in this case up to second stage solution is weakly basic here solution is weakly and th at third stage it become weakly acidic because of the formation of carbonic acid sodium chloride you know it is neutral neutral salt but H2CO3 is a weak acid so up to second stage means up to phenolphthalein stage solution is weakly basic and at third stage it is weakly acidic now it is weakly acidic right now equivalence of HCl is equal to yes if we start from first means we neglect the presence of phenolphthalein we add simply methyl orange then how many equivalents of HCl are used equal to equivalents of NaOH plus equivalents of sodium carbonate with valency factor 1 plus equivalents of NaHCO3 produced in reaction 2 NaHCO3 is produced in reaction 2 <coughs> plus of NaHCO3 already present in the solution. Because we add NaHCO3 to the initial stage, that plus NaHCO3 produced in the reaction 2. So this is the equivalence of HCl used go from first stage to third stage. With first reaction to third reaction. All reaction takes place for methyl orange to show its color change. But for phenolphthalein only these two reactions. Now second case. If we add methyl orange after this reaction. This reaction takes place these two reactions take place already with phenolphthalein. Now, if we consider methyl orange, then how many equivalents of SCL are used? Equivalents of SCL used here are equal to equivalents used in first reaction plus equivalents used in second reaction plus equivalents used in third reaction. It is total sum. Now, my question is, if we consider one after the other, this state is completed. Now, how many equivalents of SCR are required for methyl or state? Say, in the first reaction, equivalents required of SCL is equal to equivalents of NH. In the second reaction, equivalents of SCL required are equal to equivalents of sodium carbonate with valency factor 1. So that means for third stage, for third reaction, these are the equivalents. This is for the first reaction. These are the equivalents of SCL required for the second reaction. And these are the equivalents required in the third reaction. 
means effluence of HCl here is equal to effluence of NaHCO3 produced in reaction to plus effluence of NaHCO3 already present in the mixture yeah, present in the solution so question is a solution of 3 gram mixture containing sodium carbonate, sodium hydrogen carbonate and NUH was titrated against one normal HCl and volume of HCl used is 34.4 ml where only phenolphthalein indicator is used and 55.8 ml when methyl orange is used as indicator from the beginning from the beginning calculate the percentage composition of the mixture the solution we start with left amount of NaOH is equal to x round amount of sodium carbonate y round and amount of NaCO3 yes total sum is 3 gram so that means it is 3 minus x plus y now case 1 Indicator. For phenolphthalein indicator, NaOH is neutralized and sodium carbonate is neutralized with valency vector 1. That means in this case, equivalent of HCl is equal to equivalent of NaOH plus equivalence of sodium carbonate with valency factor 1 so equivalence of HCl you know equivalence is weight over equivalent weight or normality into volume normality into volume in liter so in case of HCl we have normality so that means normality of HCl that is 1 into volume of HCl up to phenolphthalein stage volume of HCl used is 34.4 but it is in ml so it should be divided by 1000 and is equal to rate of NaOH divided by equivalent weight of NaOH what is equivalent weight of NaOH? 40. 40 equivalent weight is atomic or molecular weight divided by N factor or valency factor so for NaOH it is 1 so it is x by 40 simple what about sodium carbonate? y divided by sodium carbonate molecular weight of sodium carbonate is 106 and divided by 1 because its valency factor is 1 so this is the equation for first stage for phenolphthalein stage we have this equation now case 2 used from the beginning so if we use no methyl orange from the beginning first NaOH is utilized then sodium carbonate is utilized with valency factor 1 
the sodium hydrocarbonates are produced and sodium hydrocarbonate already present all are utilized for that hcl used is 55.8 so the equivalence of HCl in this case is equal to equivalence of NaOH plus equivalence of sodium carbonate with the balance factor 1 plus equivalence of sodium hydrogen carbonate produced of sodium hydrogen carbonate produced that means it should be two times equivalence of sodium carbonate with valency factor 1 you can write it as so equivalence of NaOH x by plus 2 into y over 1 Because equivalence of sodium carbonate consumed in second reaction is equal to equivalence of NaCO3 produced from the neutralization of Na2CO3. Both are equal with valency factor 1. So it is 2 times. This both is equal to 2 times equivalence of sodium carbonate with valency factor 1 plus 3 minus x plus 5 this is rate of NHCO3 present in the mixture divided by 84 so in this way we calculate x and y because now we have two equations now it is 1 into 55.8 divided by 1000 from these two equation you can calculate x and y just calculate so on solving 1 and 2 we get x equal to calculate calculate x is 1 gram x comes out to be 1 gram y also comes out to be 1 gram. That means third work also comes out to be 1 gram. Percentage of NaOH is equal to 1 divided by total 1 divided by 3 into 100. 33 point 33 percent. And percentage of Sodium carbonate is also same. 